Hi everyone, welcome to researchandanalysis.com. In today's video, we will discuss how to create variables in SPSS. So this is the data sheet. First of all, the demographic variables, then we have the items related to transfer of training. Here we have six items that are representing transfer of training then five items related to training retention then we have items related to perceived self-efficacy then we have six items related to perceived training utility and finally we have seven items related to motivation to transfer Whenever we need to run any sort of analysis like regression, correlation, one way and over, we always need to have averages of these items. So, so for this purpose, we need to create a variable. Like these are these six items are representing transfer of training. So what we will do, we will create an average of these six items. Simply go to transform and then click compute variable and here you can just name transfer training as like TT and here we will have all the items just add them. So we have just added all six items related to transfer training then divide by six. So when we will click OK then we will have a new column that will be named as TT I mean transfer training. Click OK. So it's been executed and here in the last you can see that we have the variable transfer training which is the average of all six items related to transfer of training. Now we will compute another variable that is training retention. We have five items related to training retention. What we will do just go to transform again compute variable reset We can name it as training retention as TR. This add up all items related to training retention. So here we have five items divided by five. So we can see you can see that another new column has been created with the name TR. So this is how we can find out the averages of all the items related to specific variables. And these averages which we can use later for regression, correlation, ANOVA and other kind of statistical analysis. I hope you understand how to create variables in SPSS. If you will have any further question you can write in the comments. Thanks for watching.